Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. This video is being filmed on Monday night for Tuesday's trading, August 25th, 2009. Traders, I got in front of you last night and it was like I sent out invitations, right? The party invitations went out, you were coming to the bull party, and just as the caterer shows up, what happens? S&P hits us with a swing day setup. And a swing day is something that we have no choice. We must respect it and trade it the same way every day. And as I told you, I never expected markets to just go gangbusters up in one direction. There are always pullbacks in a bull move. A swing day, which looks like this, you have a market that has put a day in. Then the next day it rallies up, comes back down, and settles by the lows of the day. This is considered your swing day right here. If on the third day being Tuesday, the market opens up, moves about to the top of the price of the day before your swing day, you have to sell it there and expect the market to break down a little bit. Now, I'm not looking for a major break, but it is a swing day setup. And when we see swing day setups, we have to take them. So yes, in the bigger picture, we are certainly buying dips. And tomorrow could turn out to be one of those days where we sell it first for the swing day. It comes down and then we end up long. But we have no choice but to follow our rules. And one of our rules absolutely states when you see a swing day, trade the swing day. There are swing day setups that are bullish. The one we have before us is not. It's bearish. So as I said, we sent out all the invitations for the party and then the kibosh gets put on us for at least a day or two with the swing day. Now traders, because we are in a bullish phase of the market, the swing day has to sort of be handled a certain way. If early enough in the session we first go up to the area where we think we need to get short, right about there, if we get there early in the trading session, then it's worth taking the short swing trade. If we break down first and then start to go up, forget it. I will not take the swing trade. I will not sell into it. So in other words, let me erase that so that you have a good picture of exactly what I mean here, traders. We have a setup that looks like this. You have Friday and you have yesterday being Monday. Okay, open and it settles down here. That's our swing day setup. Now, if we open up for tonight, Monday night into Tuesday, so for Tuesday's trading session, if we open up and go up early and hit somewhere around this area, well, then I would sell into it and expect it to come down, right? That would be what happens with a normal swing day. First, you open up, you get around to the swing area, and then you begin to drop. But being that we are in a bullish phase of the market, if the market opens and drops first, I will not sell it if it heads back up into that swing day area. I think it would go right through it and keep on going. So I want you to handle this the same way. I hope this doesn't confuse you. I will certainly be at the site. It's www.livewithoscar.com throughout this trade tonight and tomorrow in case this is confusing you. But simple enough, if we open up and meet the swing day criteria, we go short and it comes down and we look to get out and maybe get long. If, in fact, it opens, drops first without ever going up to the swing area, well, then I will not be selling anything tomorrow. I will be looking to buy the dip because overall, the bigger picture is we are buying dips. I hope that's clear, traders. Just to make it slightly clear, I want to show that to you on a chart. Let's go look at just two charts. Okay, traders, I'll make this quick and painless for you. You are looking at the S&P September daily bar chart. And we've had a nice little run up these last few days, up, up, up. But what I want you to look at is right here, the swing day I just illustrated for you on the board. Here's the swing day. And it's in the S&P, it's in the mini Russell, it's in the NASDAQ, it's in a bunch of our indices. So we cannot ignore it. What should happen is we come up here, drop, and it looks a lot like a swing day. But this is a little bit difficult for you to see. There's another one right here. I've blown this up slightly on another chart, the Mini Russell. Let's go look at that very quickly. Okay, traders, this is the Mini Russell September Daily Bar. And I would venture to think that this looks almost exactly like what I drew on the board for you before. Do you see that right there? 
You had the one day here, then the swing day, settled by the lows. The next day it opened up, it just about hit as high as the day before and broke. Swing day works, beautiful. Well, we have another setup that looks just like that right here. Even though we are bullish, we have no choice but to start the day off taking that swing day setup. Remember what I told you about on the board a moment ago, how we will handle it depending upon where it opens or closes. But because it looks like that, remember traders, if we get this right, the next ball will look like this and you'll have your swing day. This would be Tuesday. Let's see what happens. We'll play it either way. You know that we are buying dips in the larger picture, but when you one of, one of your rules appears before you, you must trade your rule. Stick to your rules. One of them is always sell a swing day when it appears. There's a swing day. No choice. Sticking to our guns. All right, traders, pull your charts. Take a look for swing days. Uh, this one happened right in the beginning of June. Go look for that on your mini Russell. And this one is live happening right now for August 24th, 25th. So, traders, you see those charts? You see those swing days? Look, that whole video yesterday, of course, as I said, I do expect that we're in a bull and I expect to go much higher, but you're not going to go up every day. And we are day traders, so we have the opportunity to wiggle with the wiggles, right? If they need us to sell in a couple of days, we can do that. But the broader picture here is we are looking to buy these dips. Now, with sticking to our guns, look, a swing day is a swing day, and I could care less what's going on in the markets or around me, bull or bear, you name it. When a swing day comes up, we handle it the same every single time. So here it is. That's tomorrow's trade. At least we start off with the swing day setup and then see what develops. All right, traders, give me a call anytime, Darren, at 702-629-4755. Make sure you, sure you come on down to our site and grab a free membership. And as always, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, because it will help keep your emotions out of trading. And you know what that is? Stop sorry. Emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I'm a 27-year seasoned trader on and off the trading floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years.